guys, thanks for joining me for yet another video with me in the lawn. So I'm really excited about today because I'm gonna unveil the Bermuda area of my lawn. You guys have not seen this area of my lawn for the last four weeks. I showed you probably two weeks after I plugged kind of the progress that was going on, but I haven't shown you guys really anything over the last four weeks uh, on purpose because I, I wanted to kind of show the whole transformation all at one time. So if you're new to the channel and you're not sure what I'm, what exactly I'm talking about, I'll put a link to a playlist to, that really goes through the entire transformation of what this started out to, uh, as. And then uh, in this video, you'll really see what it's become. Um, it's really cool. The, the transformation has just been phenomenal and it's met, really exceeded my expectations on how well it's, it's done. And I'm really excited to show that with you guys. So today is Thursday, July 25th. Uh, this past Saturday was uh, the really the six week point since I installed those Bermuda plugs and I put together a little time lapse video for you guys. I don't have a, a camera. I sat out there for six weeks to record video so I took a picture or tried to take a picture almost every day and I put this collage or time lapse together. And before I actually go show you the, the actual lawn right now, I want you guys to show, take a look at this pretty sweet time lapse I put together for you guys. So check this out. So this is obviously the area that was all plugged with Bermuda and it's really filled in. For the most part, it's all filled in. So you can see there's a little bit of uh, humps and bumps and that's because where the plugs are are a little bit thicker than where the plugs weren't. Um, but that'll fill in and look nice and uniform and flat like it is over here. The spot in areas that are the thinnest are right along in here. And I really think that's because the soil wasn't as good over here as it was over here. When we were backfilling this area from when this, where the stump was, the soil we were putting right in here was a lot more uh, like red clay, while the soil over here was very black and it was just very soft and it was just very good soil in general. Um, and this was just a lot more rocky. So I think this is gonna take a little bit more time to get much more, th much thicker and gradually this will start to fill in over time. But I mean, this just looks, I'm, like I said, I'm extremely pleased with how all of this looks. So if you remember, this is the area that I've talked about that is a, kind of a mix of cool season grass. There's uh, tall fescue in here and you can really tell since we've been getting in the heat of the summer that tall fescue is really starting to stress out with how short it's being cut. Um, it just doesn't like that short cut. But I'm not really worried about this because I'm planning on, you know, kind of killing this area off at some point and just letting the Bermuda fill in and run over this area. I may not actually need to kill it off. It may just die off naturally from me pushing this area with fertilizer um, over the summer in the heat of summer. So another area I mentioned earlier in this year while the Bermuda was still dormant was this section right here had a lot of uh, bluegrass in it and you can still somewhat see it but it's uh it's not nearly as noticeable now with the bermuda growing in and i know some people do that they overseed with uh, bluegrass and with bermuda but i just i'm not really a fan of how this looks i know this bluegrass probably isn't like of any great quality or anything but again i'm just not a big fan of how it looks i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but you can actually here's the bluegrass sticking through the bermuda um you, i don't know if the camera's really picking this up or doing it any justice but Again, I'm just not a big fan of this, but in general, it still looks pretty good and it just helps keep things nice and thick. So let's keep moving along. And so where I am laying right now, 
six weeks ago was all dirt and now it's a uh, nice thick common Bermuda again this is common Bermuda it's nothing special but it just looks really good when it's taken care of uh, I wanted to lay right here and show you guys I am dealing with a little bit of weed pressure in here this is nut sedge um, but for the most part the weeds haven't been too bad I've been able to kind of manage the weeds fairly easily with uh, just pulling them by hand and doing that but I will not be pulling the nut sedge I will be spraying this at some point just not right now it's not a big deal with me with them um, with me lowing it mowing it pretty low I know just that shortcut will um, you know stress that nut that nut sedge out a lot and maybe suppress it a little bit but I'm not too concerned with how everything's looking everything's looking really good this area needs a, a little mow I am mowing this an inch and a half so cue that sweet mowing montage well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool <laughs> give it to my baby Right, guys so I don't know if you can tell but the uh, overall cut with that rotary mower at one and a half inches is actually pretty good it uh, you know it scalps a few spots if I'm not careful but I mean considering I really did little to no leveling in this or smoothing out of this area when I did the plugging um, it's I, I need to do that I'll probably do it this year my main priority was just getting this area filled in with Bermuda I'll do some more leveling or smoothing out next year but considering I haven't done any of that uh, I think it's doing really well for a rotary mower at an inch and a half some of the, some of the areas that are a little bit more uh, that'll scalp a little bit if I'm not too careful or right in here that'll scalp a little bit but I mean overall I mean I just think I, like I said I'm just very impressed and happy with how this all turned out I like I said it, it exceeded my expectations and then if you remember, this is another area. This is the whole area where I plugged from. This looked like uh, Swiss cheese. It had a holes poked all in it. And again, this is another area right along in here where it'll scalp a little bit if I'm not careful. You can see a little bit of discoloration because it gets down into a little part of the, the leggier part of the Bermuda. It's not super leggy with it being cut this short. And you can see with it not being smooth, you know, I, I have to kind of go back and clean these edges up with a, a trimmer so that's all i have for you guys today please make sure to like comment subscribe all that fun social media stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe learned a thing or two but as always i'm ben the lawn guardian and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>